update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished uh, down 482, NASDAQ off 166, S&P's off 40. That's a downdraft inside the NASDAQ, folks, of 1.2%, 9 tenths of 1% in the S&P, and 1.4% in the Dow Industrials. We had gold. Gold contract up $3, trading 1902 an ounce. Silver up uh, 18 cents, $24, 18 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 28, $92.35 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year note flat 126 21, 30 year up 12 ticks at 153.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar also flat 96076. Euro 113, yen 115.02, and the British pound 135 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the S&P first. When you're looking at high volatility, I expect it's gonna continue. Bottom line, get a low out here, 425.86. The high volume low that wants to get tested is 420.76. Hasn't got tested. As the NDX 100. Got close, got within 20 cents, but guess what? What doesn't happen, folks, is this, is that you're gonna get the S&P tested, the NASDAQ tested and the small caps tested. With the NDX not testing, my take is that if we go sideways, it's going to be an ABC structure down. If you're a bull, you want to see this thing tested tomorrow morning. We hit a price point of 334.35. It's 334.75, a 15. That's what you want to see, the rejection of lower price. But it looks to me like the way that we're actually trading out here, that you, you go sideways, you're going to build cars for the next leg down in the marketplace. Gold. Gold contract, my take on gold, you got an ABC structure up. That being said, I expect you're doing a complex ABC. The reason being, somehow, some way, folks, okay, what's going to happen is that it's going to be like, okay, you took the high out, you got an ABC structure happening. We, we took it out at 881. Nice takeout, too, big time. That being said, that was 100% move for move, and I've seen it plenty of times, you know, and we'll see where this shakes out. But I suspect it's going to pull back. You're going to want to buy the pullback in spades, by the way. Uh, and then we'll see where this baby goes. My take on gold, gold's on its way to 2550. That's kind of how this is set up right now. And King Dollar, I suspect when we see the, the what will make gold pull back is that King Dollar looks to me like he just wants to try to get a little bit higher. It's been going sideways. He had that swing high up there of 97,441. Bottom line, you know, I can expect that can go a bit higher. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to come over. Join Tommy in the morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure. 